Best player you've played against? Uh, Paolo Maldini. Do you hope to manage a club in the Premier League in the near future? I definitely want to manage in the Premier League, uh, but there's no fast track, uh, there's no shortcuts to management or coaching. I've got to get as much experience as possible and learn from the best, and uh, then I'll be ready. You think, you think you're ready, you finish your career and you think, oh, management's going to be easy, but as soon as you go on the A-license courses, you come away, obviously, with uh, the under-21s and you, you're involved in club football in the coaching side, you realise that you've still got a lot to learn in terms of preparation, structure, dealing with players, the problems that players bring, the problems that other things happen around the club. You're not just a football man, you, you, you've got to deal with many things. So it's about learning how to deal with all these that will... Uh, that will stand you in good stead, you know, I think if, if you jump straight into it, uh, I think sometimes you found wanting. As a coach, you, you, you worry about everything, you worry about the training, you worry about the players, you worry about the staff, you worry about the food, the, the coach, the way you're going to prepare your, your players in terms of going to the gym. No, no stone must be left unturned and, and you know, the, the happiness of the players is the most important thing and, and while, when they go to bed, as a coach or a manager, that's when your work starts, you're forever preparing, you know, you prepare for one game, that's finished, you're preparing for the next, you're preparing for training the day after, you want everything to be spot on and, and that's part of the, the, the process of being a coach and a manager, that the preparation is vital. Favourite place you have played football? I love playing in the USA, always great facilities and more important, great weather. Love Wembley. I think Wembley is the finest stadium in the world. It blows your mind when you walk in the stadium. I've been there loads of times, I've played there loads of times, but still every time you go there it feels like the first. You just can't get enough of it. And I think, I think the testament is when, when Brazil come, Argentina come, or the top nations, Germany, Holland, they all want to play at Wembley. And, and that, that's testament to our great stadium. How is the mood in the camp ahead of tomorrow? The mood in the camp's great. We are looking forward to the Norway game where a win is a must. I enjoyed last time I was in here, I came for the Belgium qualifying game at Middlesbrough last season and uh, that's the first thing that struck me was it had a real club type atmosphere. It's a fantastic uh, environment to work, you know it's tournament football now and Stuart's got massive, massive experience at tournament football and uh, you know we lost the game the night but there was no panic from Stuart, he knows what it takes to, to do well in tournaments. When I'd finished the season at Everton I was, I was looking forward to my holidays and uh, I'd obviously committed to this a, a while ago and and when I came out here, it didn't dawn on me how special it is working for England, uh, being involved in something like this until the players turned up and you put the, even the polo top on with the crest on. And it hits you that, you know, this is the pinnacle of anyone's career, playing or coaching or managing. Working for the FA, playing for England is still, should be, the pinnacle. How do you rate Ross Barkley's chance of getting into the Everton first team next season, old enough and, and good enough? I think he has a great chance, as long as you're good enough, age don't matter. Colin Cowan has just asked, what have you thought of Nathaniel Shalabar so far? He's made a massive impression. I like his enthusiasm. I think he plays without fear. Uh, he's athletic and I think he's got a big future in the game. You can see at the moment that he's not physically developed. Uh, but once, next couple of years, he does do that, I think he's going to be a top midfield player for this country. What are you going to miss most about Everton? I miss the people inside the club uh, and the fans who were special to me. They gave me a send-off the last uh, game that I played for Everton against West Ham, which is something that I'll never forget. The, uh, the players guarded a guard of honour and uh, they clapped uh, and it was probably one of the most emotional moments uh, of my football career.